I'm here reading chapter seven in the end of the beginning by Avi. And thank you to Harcourt for letting us read this. In which a battle is fought. Edward and Avon came to a fork in their branch. It seems to me, said Edward, that you won't have a proper series of, of adventures unless you've gone through thick and thin. Thick and thin what? asked Avon. Branches, replied Edward. We've been on a thick branch. It's time we tried a thin one. So very carefully, the two creatures moved out along the thin branch. Suddenly, Edward halted. Avon, look! From the opposite end of the very branch they were traveling on, another snail was coming toward them. What's more, there was not enough room for them to pass each other by. One of the snails would surely get off, knocked off. Edward was very excited. He ran up and down and around in circles. Avon, he said, this is the adventure you have been waiting for. The snail is coming in our direction. We are going his. One of you has to give way. You are going to fight a famous battle and win. What if I lose, asked Avon. Avon, if you win this battle, you will be the most famous snail in the whole world. This is what's going on. This is what going on adventures is all about. The truth is, Edward, I've never fought a famous battle before. How do you do it? Hurry down the branch and push him out of the way. He will push you back. Push him again. That's a battle. No matter how Avon tried to explain that snails were not pushy creatures, Edward urged him on. So with much reluctance, Avon set off down the branch. From the far end, the other snail kept coming. Edward scrambled back to watch from a safe di distance. The two snails moved along the long branch a little bit at a time. Faster, faster, urged Edward. The two snails moved forward slowly. Don't take so long, cried Edward. The snails moved on, coming closer and closer. It's been two hours since you began, shouted Edward, who in spite of himself was becoming a little bored. I'm going at top speed, said Avon. By lunchtime, the two snails had covered half the distance that had separated them. Can I stop for something to eat, asked Avon. No, no, the matter is urgent, Edward insisted. Keep going. By four o'clock in the afternoon, the snails had covered three quarters of the distance. Edward was exhausted with watching. Can't you go any faster, he called. I'm running, replied Avon. By supper time, the two snails were almost close. Remember now, said Edward from his perch, this is a fight to the finish. He yawned. The two snails were almost touching when the sun went down. I can't see you anymore, Avon, Edward called out. Keep me informed. When it had become completely dark, there was a long silence. What's happening, asked Edward. I'm not sure, replied Avon. I can't hear anything. Neither can I, said Avon. A few more hours passed. Avon? Yes, Edward. Are you winning? Can't tell. In the middle of the night, Edward called out across the darkness. How's it going? Pretty well. Are you winning now? Won't know till daylight, Avon replied. In the morning, Edward strained to have a look. To his astonishment, the two snails had passed each other, and each was continuing on his way. Edward hurriedly caught up with Avon. Avon, what happened? Did you win your famous battle? Avon considered thoughtfully. Edward, he said, I don't know. It all happened so quickly. Tune in for the next chapter.